since I had two of these little pieces from yesterday, some people made a comment saying would have have shattered if I hammered it and stuff like that. So we're gonna see if we can use a big, uh, one of these big hammers and then do two different tests. One with liquid nitrogen and one without liquid nitrogen. See if we'll get any different uh, results. So here we go. I guess be careful. <laughs> this is dangerous. This is more dangerous than me shooting it. Okay, so nothing is happening to the chain. So let's freeze it, see what happens. See if it'll make any difference. Should I drink it? No, just kidding. <laughs> the stuff is really cool. The fog that is coming out of it. Oh, it cracked the glass. Okay, so I had to go get another glass. This one cracked. I'll show you guys how this looks in a second. How cool is that? Rigo, you don't want to come play with liquid nitrogen? <laughs> it's been like uh, seven, eight minutes or so. All these weeds are kind of frosted and they're breaking off. I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> this is cool. I'm just sweeping my hand and it's falling in pieces look at that we'll leave it in there for another five minutes or so let it completely evaporate okay that's it it's done so okay here we go oh it broke it broke and I didn't hit it that hard oh yeah So the chain didn't shatter like I, I thought it would shatter, uh, but what happened is it broke this uh, this piece here where it was welded together, and that didn't happen before. So, and that's where I was uh, hitting it. That's where I was uh, hammering it down to. Okay, if I needed to hammer it more, it would have broken down. But and the chain is still really cold. So it did make a tiny bit of a difference, especially where it was welded. And if you had to cut it down with the chain cutter, it would make it probably easier if it was in liquid nitrogen. Okay, I thought I'd share that with you guys. There's gonna be no shooting in this video. Just a little experiment. All right, I'll see you guys later.